let's start with question number one so fourth part of it says we need to find quadratic polynomial whose sum is minus 3 2 under root 5 this is the sum and the product is minus half so we know that polynomial can be written in the form of x square minus sx plus p so x square minus s s is my sum so minus 3 2 under root 5 x plus product product is minus half so what we get is we get x square plus 3x over 2 under root 5 minus half now what we need to do is we need to take lcm here or what you can do is you can multiply whole equation with 2 under root 5 so it will be 1 here and we need to multiply the first term with 2 under root 5 so the first term will be 2 under root 5 x square minus sorry not minus plus 3x then in the last term what we need to do is we need to multiply it with under root 5 so it will be minus under root 5 so my fx for this is 2 under root 5 x square plus 3x minus under root 5 now we need to find the zeros of equation so it will be equal to 0 now we need to split the middle term so we have a as 2 under root 5 and c as under root 5 so 2 into under root 5 into under root 5 makes 10 now we need to split 10 such that they make 3x so we have 5 and 2 so 5 in 5 minus 2 makes 3x so it will be 2 under root 5 x square plus 5x minus 2x minus under root 5 equals 0. Now what we can take common from the first two term is under root 5x. So we are left with 2x and here we are left with under root 5. So under root 5 inside the bracket. Then what we can take common from the last two term is minus 1 and we are left with 2x plus under root 5 equals 0. So now we have two values that is 2x plus under root 5 equals 0 and another is under root 5 x minus 1 equals 0. So the first term is minus 5 under root 5 over 2 and another is x equal 1 over under root 5. So this is my first 0 and this is my second 0. So thank you for watching question number 4, part 4 of question number 1.